Barnaby Joyce has defended the decision to do a paid television interview, saying it was his partner Vicky's call. The former Deputy Prime Minister also says they're doing it to protect their privacy. But the explanations aren't washing with many of Mr Joyce's colleagues who are keen to see such payments banned. Political editor Andrew Proben. Morning, Barnaby. Described by political pals as Australia's best retail politician, it's now his story that's for sale. It's an interview, not just with me, it's with Vicky. Confirming he'd abandoned his previous reservations. A discussion about my private life in the public arena, I don't think it's right, I don't think it'd be right for any other politician. We tried for privacy. And the last fortnight we've had drones over our house, we've had paparazzi waiting for us outside Armadale Airport, we've had people following us to Urala. We tried just burning this out and that didn't work. So for a reported $150,000, Barnaby Joyce has done a tell-all commercial TV interview alongside partner and former staff of Vicky Campion, whose pregnancy brought his career unstuck and heralded a ministerial bonk ban must not engage in sexual relations with their staff. Ultimately, it's a matter for him and his judgement. I personally wouldn't do it. I don't think it's right, and I think most Australians are pretty disgusted by it. This is unprecedented in my ten years uh, as a Member of Parliament. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh, I, like that. I like that. A politician selling his story is not unprecedented. <laughs> Bob Hawke and Blanche Del Puget were reportedly paid $200,000 for an interview and infamous photo shoot for Woman's Day. But he'd left politics by then. Of One of Barnaby Joyce's colleagues suggested there should be a ban on serving politicians giving paid interviews. I'm not really comfortable with checkbook journalism as a rule, and I'm certainly not comfortable with the idea that members of parliament are going to be paid to do media interviews. He's not alone. Most in parliament are uncomfortable about Barnaby Joyce taking cash for the interview. Politics is an acutely public pursuit that comes with the expectations of open accountability and no politician wants to be judged by the standards of another. If common sense and common decency don't tell you that these things are the wrong thing to do, I don't think a ban is going to fix the problem. Mr Joyce's love life, a lonely business. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.